Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Crystal and today I have a very very exciting video for you guys and This video is actually inspired by Kristen Dominic because she's the one who does uh, Videos like this. So today it's going to be Arab makeup versus Korean makeup So I think I'm gonna do the Arab makeup here and the Korean makeup on this side of my face So the reason why I chose Arab makeup is because um, I really really like their makeup. It's very dark, very sultry and sexy and I think it's completely opposite to Korean makeup because Korean makeup is just very youthful and it's all about glass skin and fresh skin. Yeah. Their skin looks very very moisturized and flawless so um, and the brows will be very natural and straight but still bushy at the same time so and I'm very interested to know what you guys will pick is it the Arab makeup or the Korean makeup like for me what fits me better yeah. so without further ado let's just go ahead and start with the Arab versus Korean makeup look okay so first I'm gonna start with face primer I'm gonna use this just color beauty primer and it says here perfect balancing finish looking radiant finish so this is a face primer which is a yellow color and I just got this today from the dollar store and this is just a yellow primer. I just saw like a group of primers there. I have a blue primer, pink primer, green, yellow, and uh, I got the yellow one because I just love yellow correctors. But um, and the reason why I got this is because the testers were really good. After applying the primer on my skin, like on the back of my hand, it felt very tacky. It felt like a glue. And it claims to make your foundation last longer so we're gonna see if it's going to give that effect and it's only 149 pesos and even now like I'm touching my skin it feels tacky so um, that's a good thing because it means it's going to make the foundation like well hopefully it's going to make the foundation last longer okay so we're gonna start with the foundation so for foundation I'm gonna use the Revlon Colors Day uh, makeup in the shade golden beige. We're gonna start with the Arab makeup side So I'm gonna draw like a line like this On the center of my face, so this is going to be the barrier between the Arab and the Korean makeup Then just blend it in. Um, I know it looks light, but we're gonna do contouring after this. Okay, so that is kind of full coverage, but I'm gonna add more. I am going to use this palette that I customized I'm using this to add more coverage. So this is the Swesh Cream Foundation, the HD foundation. In HD 306 and I really really like these because they're very very full coverage so. coverage and covering the spots that I need to cover well I'm applying this to the center of my nose because actually like whatever makeup I'm doing I always always highlight the center of my nose and on my chin And then concealer, I'm going to conceal under my eyes and let's see where else we need it. I'm gonna use a lot of this. Um, if you're doing heavy makeup, you need to do like a really heavy contouring. So I'm just gonna do a little contour here as well. Here. By the way, I'm using the Revlon Colorstay Concealer in the shade Light Pale. to contour this side with the BYS contour stick. After I set all of this, I'll probably go over that with another contour powder. Contour the nose as well. And a little bit here. So now we're gonna set all of this with 
loose powder. I'm using the Ben Nye Banana Luxury Powder. Not too much, just um, just make sure the concealer is set completely. And our goal is to have very, very full coverage foundation. And I'm going to use this Kabuki brush to buff everything in. Okay, now we're going to move on to the Korean makeup side. The most correct way to start Korean makeup is to really prep your skin with a lot of moisturizer, serums, and I've watched a lot of Korean makeup tutorials and they really, really put a lot of moisturizer on their face. They use like five kinds of um, serums like this one. Um, I already applied this on my face before I apply the primer. So yeah, use something like this. Sometimes they use beauty oils for their face to make their skin look very radiant and glowy. So since I already have oily skin, I'm just gonna skip that step and then use a BB cream and then highlight afterward. I'm gonna use a very, very light layer of this one. So this is the Ponce White Beauty BB Plus CC Cream. I'm actually planning to do a separate review for this. So I already, I also have their powder. This one looks like a foundation. It has a tint and this one is just white. So I'm gonna do a separate review for these three. But for now, I'm gonna use this one. So I'm not gonna say too much about this yet. So um, I'm in the shade beige and this has SPF 30 PA++. So, so it's like a foundation sunblock in one. I'm gonna make sure that I don't apply too much. Just a very, very thin layer. Actually, I really like this um, BB cream because it looks very natural and it's nice that the color isn't too white. And why I'm using my fingers to blend this is because I want this to look as natural as possible because if you're gonna use a sponge you don't know how much product you're applying on your face I want to make sure that um, I'm applying just a very very thin layer of this BB cream because I still want my skin to show through under this BB cream because that is the key to Korean skin is for your skin to look very youthful and glowy so I don't know if you can tell this side looks very full coverage and this side I'm gonna keep it like this only so and I'm not going to powder too much okay so for concealer I'm just gonna use the same concealer and for concealer I'm gonna use the tiniest amount like probably one two three dots under my eye and that's it add a little bit more around my nose but not too much and then a little bit more here and whatever that's left on this brush I'm going to set the concealer like so there's like almost nothing left on this brush I'm just going to kind of set this so now we are gonna move on to the brows and this is where you're gonna see the difference like you can see the real difference between Arab and Korean makeup okay. I'm just going to use a very dark eyebrow pencil. Most of the Arab makeup that I saw had really, really dark and dramatic eyebrows. Most of the Arab eyebrows are really arched like that and then it goes down like this, so it's very, very strong. Arab eyebrows are very, very dark and dramatic, so that is like, everything is strong, the brows, the eyes, the contour, and the lips. It's just all very strong and intense, so um, whereas Korean makeup is just very, very light, like I said. Okay, so after using a very dark eyebrow pencil, I'm going in with an eyebrow powder, so this is just going to um give it a gradient effect because you don't want like only black like that so you want you want it to still blend nicely and this one is from me now as well they sent me this eyebrow product this is the me now generation 2 eyebrow um yeah it just says eyebrow and this is the eyebrow palette b so Okay, so this is still light for me. I have seen darker ones when I was searching for Arab makeup 
um, online. So I'm not yet satisfied with this brow. I still think that it still needs to be darker. So I got my black uh, pencil liner and then I'm just going to darken this up even more because I swear the photos that I saw online, their brows were really dark. I think that's fine. Now we're going to move on to the Korean side. You should still be able to see each and every hair strand that you have on your brows. Okay, so for brows, I'm going to use this eyebrow pencil from Daiso and I really really like this one. It looks like this and the reason why I like this is because of the tip. It's very very um, small and thin so it's very perfect for creating like um, eyebrow hairs. Now is we're going to create fake eyebrow hairs. So here and then because the key to a uh, Korean eyebrow is to make it look straight and feathery and you should still be able to see all the hair. I mean as compared to this one, it should look natural like this one. So for Arab makeup, I actually lifted my brows up, but for Korean makeup, I'm going to brush the hair down, except for the front. So for the front part, I'm brushing it up. For the tail, I'm, no I'm going to brush it down like that. Then just going to carve out underneath that. Okay, so now this kind of product's very famous in Korea. So it's a, it's a brow gel that is tinted. So this is supposed to add color to your brows if you want to lighten your brows. So they made tinted brow famous. And this one is from Maybelline. I got this a while back. So I'm not sure if this is still available. This is in the shade, uh, wait, Rusty Brown. And I actually regret buying this because it's way too rusty. Um, this is going to be perfect for redheads. So now we are going to move on to the eyes. Know that now this is going to be very challenging because Arab makeup is very, very um, intense. So um, we're going to use a lot of eyeshadow for the Arab side. But yeah, I'm going to start priming my lids first. Okay, so for the Arab side, I'm going to use the Folklore We Carry Your Favors eyeshadow palette and this is the Bright Lux palette. No, this one first, the Copper Rose. And I'm going to uh, create a line on my crease and this is just going to be a very intense cut crease look. So um, this is just going to be the base and the guide for the rest of the look. And then I'm going to apply this um, on my lower lash line and then connecting it here. So I just connected the top line to the bottom line. And as you can see, that is just going to be the shape that we're going to follow for the entire makeup look. So now it's time to use a fluffy brush. I'm going to uh, use the shade Copper Rose again. I'm just going to use very, very light layer of that. And then I'm just, I'm just going to blend that on top of this. Going back to the same color and deepen up my crease. And then I'm going to apply that on the outer third of my eye. So now we are slowly building up the look. So now we are just focusing on the shading and shadow. So after that, we are going to apply the shimmery shades and liner and lashes. And 
Then I'm going to use this black color right here and I'm just going to apply that on the outer corner of my eyes. And then with the same brush, I'm just going to deepen up the crease using what's left on the brush. I'm going to use a different dark color. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone Palette. I'm just going to use this darkest shade right here. This is like almost black if you apply it on your eyes. Okay, that is like 10 times better. Shade there. And then, like I said, you're going to drag this color to make it look dark. Okay, so now it's time to go back to the brown color that we used earlier, which is the shade Copper Rose. And I'm just going to blend the harsh edges even more because you just really want perfect blending if you're doing an Arab makeup because their makeup is just really flawless. So with the same sponge that I used earlier to bake my under eye, I'm just going to clean up the shape even more. And then here. And now it's time to put the shimmery shade on my lids. And then I'm going to um, use concealer again to carve out the shape. I'm going to apply the shade called pink and I'm going to be mixing it with a little bit of the shade called wine just to make like a dark pink color and I'm going to apply that above this the dark colors that I applied because I've seen some photos of girls do this like Arab girls do this they have like a like a red transition here and a little bit here Okay, so for a pop of color, because I know that Arab makeup, they use a lot of like intense colors. A lot of vibrant colors like orange, red, sometimes blue or green. So we are going to play with some colors today. I'm going to use this Fira, Fora, whatever you call it. This is the brand. This is the shade called Rose and it's a very intense orange, like corally shade. So we are going to use that on my lid. So this is the Hang Fang Liquid Eyeshadow and then this is the shade number 4. I'm just going to apply this on the center and I'm just going to blend it in. So this is just going to add a little bit of dimension to this look. Then we are going to use this Essence Crystal Eyeliner in the shade uh, Gold Rush. And then I'm just going to apply this on my inner corner. So I'm going to create like a sharp line here on the inner corner and then I'm going to drag the color right here. So for eyeliner, uh, I know that they do heavy eyeliner so we're going to make this kind of thick and then we're going to make like a heavy wing. Some black liner on my waterline first. I'm gonna use these 
very intense uh, lashes. So this is gonna be perfect for the Arab makeup. Yeah, that's gonna work for this look today. I just need to fix the liner on top. Now we are going back to the skin. I'm going to contour and I'm going to use the shade right here. And then just using the same brush, I'm going to get this color right here. And then I'm going to use it as a blush. Okay, so for Korean makeup, it's supposed to be uh, very natural and shimmery. So we're gonna play with peachy colors. And I'm gonna start with my um, Nika K23 Matte Colors palette. And I'm gonna start with a shade right here. So for this, I'm just following the natural shape of my eyes. And I'm not applying the shadow way too high. So. darker shades and I'm going to use this shade right here. I'm just going to use that to darken the outer corner of my eyes but um, just a thin line right here. And then I'm just going to kind of extend it here like outwards and then a little bit right here. So for Korean makeup, they love shimmery makeup so I'm just going to use the same gold eyeshadow that I used for my Arab makeup and then I'm just going to put this on the center like this and just blend it outwards. Okay, now the key to Korean makeup is to apply glitter right here on your lower lash line so that will create like a puppy eyes or like teary eyes i don't know what you call that but they, it's just very famous in korea or even in japan this trick is very famous so this makes their eyes look teary and like like baby eyes so yeah something like that so i actually want more shimmer on the lower lash line so I'm gonna use another one the first one I use is by Essence it's the crystal eyeliner in the shade rosy rush light and then I'm also going to put that right here this one is more sparkly than the other one For my brow bone, I'm going to use the Cookies and Cream Eyeshadow by Essence. And then I'm just going to put it right there. And then I'm also going to apply this on this side. And then also going to use a little bit of this on my inner corner. And then maybe a little bit on the tip of my nose as well. So for eyeliner, I would usually use a brown eyeliner. So since I don't have a brown eyeliner, I'm just going to use the darkest color from my Wet n Wild palette. And then I'm just going to use this to line. Because this is like very very dark so it's like enough to create a line. The secret to Korean makeup is to bring the line downwards so it's going to give you that poppy eyes a very very innocent look. So what's ever left on the brush I apply that on my lower lash line. Um, now I'm just going to curl my lashes using the Shuimura eyelash curler and then apply a little bit of mascara. Um, you can apply false lashes but since um, I saw many Korean makeup looks 
and they didn't use uh, false lashes. Well, you really, really can. That will look really nice um, for those K-pop makeup tutorials. My mascara, I'm using the Maybelline the Hyper Curl Volume Express Waterproof. It's, by the way, it's currently 2 a.m. And I'm getting kind of sleepy. I thought you were going to make tea. There is no sugar. No sugar? Oh no. You want that to buy? Hmm? Huh? Let's buy. Let's buy? Mm hmm. Now? After this. Okay, it's enough to brush the face. Okay. It did Nancy's makeup from Momoland and it's something similar to this. Uh, I don't know if she uses false lashes but it's just very very fresh. I'm gonna use a cream blush and this is by the brand, I think this is a Korean brand as well. It's Can Make Cream Cheek, this one. So it's a cream blush and um, I really really like this blush because it's very very creamy. So this is the color, it's just like a corally pink. So I'm just applying that with my finger and just applying this on the apples of my cheek and I'm not going to extend it more outwards because like I said, it's supposed to be very very youthful and like, you know, like you just, you're just blushing naturally here. I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette and I'm gonna use this side right here and then I'm gonna mix it with this color and then we are going to highlight and I'm also gonna apply a little bit of highlight on the Arab makeup as well I'm using the gold color here. I'm going to use this You Can Be um, Crystal Luster Eye Color and this is the shade Starlight. And this is just going to intensify my highlight. Just going to make use of what I have. Oh yeah. There you go. It looks something like this. I'm just going to apply some of that on my inner corner as well. Okay, we are almost done with the makeup. We are just down to the last step, which is the lips. So for the Korean side, I'm going to use the Matte In Detail Lip Ink. And this is the shade Orange Juice. You guys know for Korean trends, um, they always do the Ombre Lip. They normally use a lip tint, so this is what I'm using. Like that. So for the Arab side, I'm going to line my lips with the Miss Rose Professional Makeup uh, Lipstick in the shade Plum Lush. And now it's time to use the lipstick side. A little bit of this um, San San Lip Crayon in the shade Power Plum. That is the shade. This is like one of the best uh, affordable lipsticks that I've ever tried. Okay guys, so this is the finished makeup look. It took me like two hours to finish this whole uh, makeup because I'm trying to do two makeup looks. Let me know which side you like more. Do you like the Korean side, which is this one? I would totally wear this every day, day and night. So this is the Korean side. And this is the Arab makeup side. Wow. This is like a different story. I mean, look at that. Definitely for special occasions. As you can see, it's dark, it's heavy, and it's just... I don't know. It looks very mysterious, honestly. I mean, like from this to this, it's completely different. 
So let me know which one is your favorite. I would say these two are my favorite, which is why I chose Arab and Korean makeup to um, teach you guys today. It's just so interesting um, to see the difference between um, different countries and cultures. So um, I personally really like this side for special events and this one, I would wear this totally every day. So that is it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any video requests, just leave it in the comments below and I'll definitely do it. And, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I post a new video and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye!